one in here, the first one in, so I'll let you go. Kevin Henry, go ahead. Hey, Austin. I just uh, wanted to get your overall take on the performance today and kind of what you were working on. Uh, yeah, um, I was happy about it. Um, you know, it was, it was good to kind of get in a little bit of trouble there in the third and have to, you know, get in the stretch and make some pitches with the top of the lineup kind of rolling back around. Um, you know, I felt like I kind of in the bullpen and going out for the first inning, I was a little bit off. My timing was, but I was able to kind of regain that in the second inning and then kind of lost it again in the third inning. But, you know, to get out of there, get out of the, you know, bases of the jam, tough spot there, no runs, um, you know, it's always good. It looked like in that second inning you were using quite a mix of pitches. Was that the case? Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure I got a strikeout on everything I have, you know, fastball, curveball, slider, changeup. So, I mean, obviously a good sign, and, you know, we'll just continue to try to get better from here. All right, man. Thanks. No problem. Thomas Harding, Rockies.com. Okay, Austin. Um, first of all, today, as you said, you used a little bit of everything. I mean, it, it just seems like this camp in some ways – when you've gotten challenged, you've done well. When you've um, w when you skated through, that's been good too. Is there anything that's left for you to kind of see before going into the season? Uh, yeah, I mean, continue to build up the pitch count, right? Um, you know, you kind of go through roller coasters throughout the season, right? So you're gonna have a couple outings in a row where you feel really good, a couple outings where you don't feel so good. You know, fortunately for me, I come into camp and I feel pretty good right now. I feel like everything's kind of timed up. Um, like for today, when I kind of lost it, I was able to get it back quick enough. So that's always a good sign to be able to, you know, make that adjustment on the fly on the mound, going from the first inning to the second inning, and then kind of losing it at the beginning of the third and getting it back. So, um, you know, I mean, yeah, I've been throwing the ball well, and I'm just going to try to continue to work and, and do that. Um, maybe a strange question, but I'm going to go ahead and ask it. Um, looking through, kind of looking through the background here, not a lot of stories have been written about you. Seem to have gotten through with um, very little, I, I guess, of your life. I did read that you like Oreo ice cream. Tell me something about um, Austin Gomber that people don't know that that's kind of cool. That people don't know. Um, well, I skipped second grade. Wow. Yeah, so that was, pretty, that was pretty cool. I transferred from like a public school to a private school and had to take like an entry test and they didn't have any room in the second grade. And I guess I scored high enough to go to the third grade. So. That was cool at the time, and then uh, once I got to high school and everybody, all of my friends had their driver's license and I didn't, um, that, was, that, was, that was when it caught up with me. Yeah, a lot of athletes, they get redshirted a bit, so to speak. You know, they, they get held back a year. So did you always play with um, bigger and older guys? Yeah, uh, I graduated high school when I was 17, got drafted out of college at 20. So, you know, when you're younger, when I was in high school, I kind of like hated it that I was always the last guy to turn 16 and get the driver's license, the last guy to turn 18. But then when I was the youngest guy in the draft for college guys, I was like, oh, this isn't too bad. So, you know, it's had its uh, pluses and minuses. All right. Hey, thank you very much for that. All right. No problem. Nick Grove from The Athletic. Nick, go ahead and finish it up. Yeah, actually, that's fascinating. I wish I could tell you something that you missed in second grade, but I can't remember <laughs> any one freaking thing from second grade, so whatever. Um, but hey, just with you, it seems like you're th you are throwing your f full arsenal, like you know, like pretty pretty much right away in spring. A lot of pitchers aren't like that. Um, have you always done it like that? And and are you did you were you throwing like off speed stuff before you even got the camp? Uh, yes and yes. Um, I've never been in a position where I haven't been able to throw everything. I've never been in a position where you can come into camp and somebody's like, hey, you're going to pitch this day of the season regardless of how spring training goes. Um, my mindset's always been coming into camp. You know, I got to win a job. Um, you know, nobody knew me here. Um, I had no history with anybody here. So for me to come in and think that I had a job would have been foolish. Um, I prepare every offseason the same way. Um, and that's to be ready to go from game one of spring training. Um, I wanted to come in and make a good impression. I want to, you know, I, I want to have success. I want to be a good major league pitcher, regardless of what team I'm on. So um, for me or what position I'm in, um, you know, so I'm always going to come to camp regardless of my standing on the team ready to go. That's our job. And um, I feel like that's how it should be. Can, can we just go through this real quick? So make sure we have the terminology right, right with you. Um, you struck out Caratini in the second on a, on a slider, correct? 
Yeah, so the second inning, I went slider for the first strikeout. The second strikeout was a curveball and then fastball. And then the first strikeout of the third inning was a changeup and then curveball to get Tommy. Gotcha. So you you do throw, like, obviously, I know your curveball, and it's, like, kind of a more traditional curveball, but <laughs> you're – you're, you also you throw a slider that has some drop that's you throw a change that has some drop that's not a slider I think correct I, yeah, yeah I mean the changeup that I got the strikeout on was kind of in the dirt so I could see I mean it's it's tough really to see exactly what it was but yeah I, the strikeouts were slider curveball fastball changeup back to the curveball gotcha and you don't throw any kind of like hard second curve. Right. Um, I mean, that. my slider, I guess, was probably like more of like a mid to higher 80s pitch where my curveball is more of like a higher 70s pitch, um, but not like a traditional, two traditional curveballs. I have the one, you know, bigger 12 to 6 curveball that I throw a lot and then kind of that cutter slider after that. Cool. <laughs> I just want to make sure we're clear. And then just one thing to uh, a little bit off track here, because um, obviously I know I know that you came in competing, but obviously you were, you, you know, you had a track for the rotation, but just going, looking back on it, because the Cardinals were so good at this over the years about getting guys experience in the bullpen and then, and giving, getting them ready to, as starters in that, in that way. Um, again, a lot of teams aren't, aren't like that. Um, did, did you appreciate that, that kind of process? Like, w- would you have preferred it any? Best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> Best thing that's ever happened to me. It taught me, how to get to the big leagues, how to pitch in the big leagues, how to get outs in the big leagues. It's a lot easier to figure out how to get three outs at a time than it is to get figure out how to get 15 or 18 outs at a time. Um, you know, when you first get there, it's just kind of math. It's just easier. Um, now, over the course of a season, I gained a lot of respect for what relievers do because it's nonstop. you got to come in every single day mentally ready to pitch, so that was an adjustment. Um, everything changed about me. I, my stuff got better. Um, I started throwing harder and it and it kind of stuck with me after I went back to a starter. I'd never seen myself get to that velocity. So I think it's a big thing of like, I saw it on the scoreboard, I saw it on the gun and I believe that I could do that as a starter. Um, so I think that was a benefit. Um, you know, really, <laughs> I think there's a million benefits to, you know, debuting as a reliever. Now, some guys didn't do it. That was kind of like, you know, some guys, the only way the only spot in the big leagues was out of the bullpen so it wasn't necessarily like it was always by design but um no i i I think it was great for me it it changed my you know pregame warm-ups as a starter i realized i didn't need as much it changed my throwing you know in between my starts it changed how i throw my bullpens it changed how i i mean just completely changed who i was for better uh, is my belief this is fascinating and then so when you when you finally went back into like a longer role like a starter's Starters grow. <laughs> I mean, uh, this maybe this is a stupid question, but it's not like you forgot how to how to do that though either, right? Like you, like the was it was the transition back? Um, difficult at all? Yeah, I think it was big mentality wise too, other than physical, right? Uh, I think you know you have this this thought of when you're coming up as a starter of like oh in the first inning kind of how you were saying like i came to spring training ready to throw everything you know when you're a younger starter it's like oh you got to establish your fastball or you know don't throw your curveball early you don't want them to see it the first time through the lineup well like that doesn't work in the major leagues like these guys are the best hitters on the planet so if you're not ready from pitch one to throw a curveball like if i i mean i've gone out there and yadi's called oh oh curveball to the leadoff batter of the game and that's just kind of how it was. And, and being able to come out of the bullpen and my first pitch in the game being a curveball or my first pitch in the game being a slider or coming in in a tough spot and having to get out of it or just learning that you don't leave anything in the tank, right? So, like, if I'm coming out of the bullpen, I'm coming in to get three guys out. And if I'm starting, I'm coming in to get three guys out. And then I'm going to try to get three more guys out and then three more guys out and build it like that rather than, hey, I have to pitch to the sixth inning. Well, if I give up two in the first and we lose two nothing, what good did that do? So, you know, I mean, there's a million, I mean, I'm a big believer in it. I'm a big believer in what it did for me, what I've seen it do for other guys. So, um, yeah, I mean, it changes everything. So, man, this is fascinating. Thank you very much. Yeah.